All right, guys, there is a new rule um, proposed by the DTCC, you know, um, NSCC 2021-803. And there is a lot of talks about, you know, I, I believe confusion on some of the wordings referenced into the writing in on, on, on this specific rule. So in this video, I want to go over that with you guys, but also give you a kind of a different perspective, which will kind of ease and alleviate a lot of the confusion I'm seeing on social media, on the internet, and give us more uh, a kind of look at what it will kind of benefit when it comes to AMC and the overall market itself, all right? So um, this rule is about the NSCC proposing to introduce a central clearing for SFTs, which are, broadly speaking, securities lending transactions where parties exchange equity securities against cash and simultaneously agree to exchange the same securities in cash plus or minus a rate payment on a future date, okay? Let's say I want to short a company. I want to short a stock. I don't own the stock, the shares, okay? So I'm going to borrow those shares, all right? Or let's say um, I'm going to do a deal, but I need some collateral and that collateral can either be cash or securities. I don't have the cash, but I have the securities. So the, I can lend those shares to whoever needs to borrow them for whatever, okay? And in return, receive a cash, which they will also pay me a, a, a rate of a, a, a kind of yeah, a, a rate payment, okay? Let's say for 30 days or, you know, 60 days or an entire year, you're going to pay me this amount of money when I actually give you back your shares and you give me back my cash. Now, the thing is, in AMC stock and GameStop and other stocks as well, we are seeing something not normal happening in the market as of now. Currently, we have some securities like in AMC, which are landed or borrowed more than just once, okay? Think about it, guys. When you buy your car, okay, or you sell your car, you have a single title in reference to that single car. Now, let's say you... You, you you rent that car, okay? Or you you, you 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 lend it to someone for a short period of time. But after that, or in the meantime that you lend that to the same, same person, you do that with another person. Say so you have to copy the title or the paperwork. Does that necessarily mean that you are actually lending ten different cars to ten different people? No. There is only one single car. Only one single car, okay? So when you do that kind of lending more and more than the actual one time that you are allowed to, this is creating a synthetic car. This is creating a synthetic share. And this is not good because it creates, you know, some margin. It creates some liquidity issues in the market. Now, the NSCC is stepping in and saying, hey, we need to have something done about this in order to fix this issue okay so now what the proposal is actually saying and what a lot of people are getting confused is about nscc understanding that sfc provide liquidity to markets and facilitates the ability of market participants to make delivery on short sales and thereby afford i mean avoid failures to deliver naked shorts and similar situations which it's all over the place in amc and gamestop so some people are thinking by reading that, that the NSCC is kind of giving a way out to the hedges in order to kind of prepare themselves and give them the ability not to cover, hence controlling the short squeeze in AMC. But the thing is, this is a rule which is not only about hedges in AMC, it's overall in the market because the manipulation we've seen in AMC, even though it's blatant, it's not the only stock where you have some of these. This is just because of the whole exposure with the retail investors and the apes community getting and buying and holding AMC. But I bet you, I bet you there are many other stocks out there in the market in many other sectors across the economy across the stock market, you know, that this thing is also happening, but nobody's talking about that just because the light is not being shed on that. So the NSCC is stepping in and saying, hey, we need to make something here. The other thing here, guys, is when you take this, that, this last paragraph on uh, page seven, you know, it's a 346 document, but you can also say that um, by making this the hedges are, I mean, the, the, the NSCC already know that 
if they don't do this, hedges will have to default. Now, the thing is, if they do default, how in the heck are they going to pay us who are buying and holding AMC stock so far? Talking about millions and millions and millions of shareholders. OK, so this is not actually giving them a way to not cover by defaulting. Actually, it's the other way around, which I'm seeing it. When you think about the whole market, I'm think, I'm seeing this like the NSEC through the Fed, I mean, to, I mean, to the SEC saying, hey, by mitigating this issue, because we know margins are at more than average levels in the market as of now. So if we don't do something now, we're going to have the same situation we had back in 2008 with the house market where people couldn't afford to buy houses. You know, so there were a lot of bad securities being made by those big banks. And even though they bail, they, they've been bailed out, the, the Fed and the NSEC and all, I mean, even the authorities in power don't want to have the same event being replicated. So I think we need to see this not only through the AMC lenses, but also through the whole market lenses in terms of liquidity in the market. So that being said, guys, I hope it clears a little bit of the confusion and uh, definitely this is a good thing. Why? Because it brings a lot more attention on what's actually happening in AMC. But more importantly, it fixes an issue which is seen not only on AMC, but in the overall market. Now, it's not going to put AMC at 100,000 tomorrow. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it's, it's a, a, a good step forward when it comes to what the future month is going to look like. Okay?